Hello everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Skyrim Chapter 1. This is the prelude to the series, where I talk about a few different things about the series, like what character I'll be playing as, and uh, what type of playthrough it will be. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get started with uh, talking about the character that I'm going to be playing as in this Let's Play. Uh, from thinking about it, I decided to go with a Breton, who's an archer, hey, a uh, ranger class, Finally actually. Uh, the reason I decided you this is because I want hunting to be a right big part of this Let's Play. Right uh, I just want to get out there from us. the beginning and that, that we are going to be going on a lot of hunting trips yeah, and we are going to be spending a lot of times Skyrim in the woods in this Let's Play. So it only makes sense that our uh, our uh, Stolen that person is a archer. Um, you there. He will be using one hand be. weapons quite a bit, here. and it will be he. Um, the Empire wants. I I just like one hand weapons quite a bit. I don't know how much magic now. we'll be using, uh, and we'll probably also be using man. shields and light What's armor. Wrong with him, huh? uh, from there, Watch the reason I decided to go with a Breton is because I feel Breton 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 are one of the uh, more interesting Wolf. classes to play as. Uh, their magic is pretty good. They aren't. Super, super strong, but they're pretty sneaky. Oh God. Where are they uh, taking us? So yeah, that's why I decided to go with Breton. Next, I am going to say that uh, this is going to be a modded playthrough. I am currently using a huge amount of mods. Um, some of them that I can name off the top of my head are uh, Skyrim Redone is a big one. Uh, I'm also using um, per Perkis Maximus. I do apologize for pronouncing that wrong. Uh, I'm taking a chance on this mod. Uh, I I'm from looked into it a little bit, and from General what I can tell, it's uh, is I, I I haven't Let's tried it out yet. Um, sure. Like I said, I'm taking a chance on it. It'll most likely I'll most likely like it because it is changing the perk system in the game, but we will see. And then some of the other mods I'm using, I'm using Hunterborn, of course Frostfall, Realistic Needs and Diseases, a bunch of other Mercid mods. Uh, first Person View, which is really awesome, it makes it so you can look down to your body. Uh, I'm also using uh, HD, the HD uh, Skyrim Texture Pack. Um, or not texture pack. Uh, yeah, I think it's actually called texture pack. Uh, anyways, that improves the graphics significantly. I'm using a few um, lighting mods, or I'm using one line mod in particular, the lighting overall. Uh, and then oh, I'm also using Smith. So everything should look pretty good, and everything should also uh, play pretty good in the game. Uh, I have a few quest mods installed. I have. Um, Falscar, which I'm really, really dying to try out. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. I have Moonpath to Elsewhere, which I'm also really wanting to try out. I've not done either of those mods yet. Uh, then I also have Worm's Tooth, which I, uh, I'm i not super excited to do Worm's Tooth, but I am really looking forward to it. <laughs> Somewhere between really looking forward to it and excited for it. Really excited for it, excuse me. Next, I'm going to be talking about uh, my play style and how I uh, play through Skyrim. So, there won't be any fast traveling in this game, uh, or in this playthrough, just because I like immersive uh, traveling around, you know, traveling on roads on a horseback, or I will be using carriages. I do have uh, um, touring carriages installed, uh, so we will be using car carriages. And since there's no fast traveling, if we're in an area where I I have one quest that I'm trying to get done, then I have other quest um, are you? quest areas in that same area of the map. I will most likely go do those quests just because I'm in the area, and if it's a place I don't travel to as much, uh, then we'll probably stay in that area for a little amount of time. Another quick thing about mods, uh, as I continue through the Let's Play, um, if I find a mod that comes out and I really want to try it, I'll most likely install it. But I will inform you guys on any um, in installations I do or any un installations I do. Uh, so I'll always try to keep you guys updated on that. Uh, next, I would like to give a big shout out to the whole modding community for Skyrim. Uh, thank you guys a whole lot for making all the mods you have. They're a whole lot of fun. They really improve the game. And it makes Skyrim just that more m amazing. And I know you guys, you know, don't get paid too much, but just thank you a lot. And and if you are a person who enjoys mods, make sure to endorse the uh, mod creators. And as always, guys, the link is in the description. Or not the link for the in the description. Every mod I'm using is in the description. I'm not putting links, I apologize. There's just too many 
but I've typed them in the description in such a way that you can just copy and paste that into the Skyrim Nexus and you should be able to find the mod. If I did not get the mod off Skyrim Nexus, which I have for almost all of them, I will uh, put more information under the um, mods information. I'm assuming if you watched this much of the video so far, uh, you're interested in the series and may or may not watch it, but most likely will. Uh, so now I'm going to be talking about the character backstory. Uh, so, just starting off with his name, uh, I decided to go with Strider, and if you don't know, I'm a huge fan of Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, uh, and Strider is Aragorn's nickname, uh, so it's only appropriate to name a ranger character uh, after probably one of the best rangers of uh, all fantasy worlds. So, anyways, uh, our character Strider was born in High Rock. It, his very early childhood is sort of a mystery. And side note, I will sort of be filling in the blanks that I don't talk about now throughout the series as his uh, character, as the character uh, progresses, and um, we sort of feel things out, I guess. Anyways, right, he was born in High Rock, like I said, uh, and from the time he left home, he was already a very well-respected um, swordsman and ranger, ranger especially. So he became a uh, um, a ranger who traveled across da uh, High Rock, everywhere from Daggerfall to North Point uh, to Evermore to Johanna. So all across High Rock, but he was still seeking more adventure, and uh, he, he knew he could achieve better with his skills of being a ranger and a really good archer and all those other things. So, uh, traveling through Hammerfell, he eventually got to Cyrodiil, uh, where he was, uh, again, a very respected ranger there. Um, he traveled through the forests of uh, Cyrodiil for a uh, long time, and also the Gerald Mountains. So he was, he is very um, uh, experienced when it comes to surviving the wilderness and hunting and uh, knowing what he has to bring on a trip to a certain climate or to a certain area. So anyways, uh, this was the prelude to uh, Skyrim Chapter 1, or my Skyrim Let's Play. So anyways guys, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see all of you guys in Part 1. Yeah, I'll see you guys then.